The memory of Penn State's last trip to East Lansing sat sourly in the hearts of Michigan State fans, but it gave confidence to a Penn State team that continues to prove they can hang with any team in the country. A year ago, the Nittany Lions beat the ninth-ranked Spartans at the Breslin Center, and they were determined to knock off the 12th-ranked Spartans this time around. A Michigan State team that had just beaten sixth-ranked Purdue. Far wing battle, battle to the bucket, back to Jackson for three, and no nope, rebound. Jones wheel steals and scores at 11-6. Battle top of the key now drives to the elbow near wing Brooks. He'll take the three and good. Morgan into the lane with the left hand short, follows it relentless and one. He'll go to the line. Penn State fell behind by 11 early. A lot of teams would be buried after that kind of start, but not the Nittany Lions, who always managed to keep it close. And an 8-0 run did just that, with much of their success coming from pure effort. Rebound, Woodyard deflects it to Jackson. Good job by Cam. Back door, they go to battle. Who lays it up with the left hand and going? Battling, fighting, working hard in practice, playing with a sense of purpose. Now they've won three of four and hanging tough here. This season has been defined by hard losses. Penn State has lost 10 games by eight points or less. Shot clock rolls to 10 with 624 left in the half. Battle to Jackson, far corner, drives the baseline, forces it off the window, and good. And then it lies now with eight unanswered points. Penn State didn't have a great shooting half, but they did a nice job on the boards and found a way to slow down the Spartans, too, until they could claw their way back into it. And as the second half began, they continued to nip at Michigan State's heels, and there was a feeling in the building that this one had a long way to go before it was decided. Battle for three, and good! Great start for Taylor Battle, the 75th double-figure game of his career. Battle for Brooks, and that'll fall in. Good aggressive move by Jeff, nice little jump hook. Allen with a pull up. Got it. That spreads the lead to 10. Brooks who was right against Morgan. Back to bat for three. And good. Great screen set by Jackson. And this Penn State team just stays within striking distance. That's the key is keeping it under double digits. Give yourself a chance to win in a tough environment. The Breslin Center in front of the Izzone. Jeff Brooks gave Penn State their first tie of the game as the Nittany Lions proved yet again they could not be intimidated by any team, coach, or building. But as pesky as they were at coming back, the Spartans were equally pesky in pulling away again. My gray ball, Summers, good. Hey, Horn, Going to have to take a timeout now. Penn State got it back to zero, and it's back to ten. Coach Ed DeCellis used the timeout to calm things down. It had turned into a game of runs, and he had a plan to make sure the next one went Penn State's way. Again, the Nittany Lions came back. Having won three of their last four, they were confident, using a combination of shots to go along with some good defensive stops. Allen knocked away by Babb on a steal. Runs with Battle, ahead to Taylor Battle. And one. Up and in the basket count, and a foul. And Taylor Battle will be at the line, looking to complete a three-point play. And the Nittany Lions are on the march. They've run off seven unanswered points. Babb for three in the lead. Good! And the Nittany Lions go in front, 58-56. They're on a 12 nothing run left. With a regular season Big Ten title in their sights, Michigan State could not shake the stubborn Lions. This issue would be decided in the final minute. Down two, battle, lost the drive. Jackson, near wing for three in the lead. It is in and out. Got it out and goes to Kepler. They got a great shot. Got the look they wanted. Oh, they sure did. It was in the cylinder and kicked out. I am really impressed with Ed Tuchelis' coaching performance this evening. In the heat of the final 60 seconds, Penn State left their lion-sized hearts on the floor, giving the Spartans everything they could handle. This young Nittany Lions team has been so close so often all year, and they look like a team that can take what it has learned and make some noise in the upcoming Big Ten tournament. Travel with the Lions for a behind-the-curtain look at that tournament in Indianapolis. It's coming up on the next edition of the Penn State Basketball Story.